In this class, we are going to learn one of the short use case in form layouts. Suppose if the user enters the detail for one of the user like this and enters 2300 and clicks on save, we would see that the data got entered into the table without the age information. If you look at here in the percent details business object, the age information will be empty. Now how we can avoid this issue in Visual Builder wherein we can restrict the user from entering the blank data. So in order to do that, we can surround this with the validation group. Right click over here in the structures that is over here. Let me just again show you. Right click over here in the form layout and insert the component you can select or surround. Surround with the validation group. Now this validation group, what it will do is it will check whether there are any required fields over here in the form. Now we will make this age as required parameter in our form layout. So in order to make this required in the form, we can go to general for input number and check mark this required. So you will see the required mark over here. Now coming to the validation, we have to make use of the valid variable or the attribute over here and hook it up to the variable which we need to create. So we will create one variable with the name v valid. It is of type string. So whenever the form is valid, this valid variable in the validation group will be assigned the value valid. In case it is not valid, the value won't be valid. Now where we have to check whether the value is present in this valid variable is valid or not, we have to do that in the action chain. Now here I will add one if condition and drop it at the top. Now in the if condition what I will do is I will drag and drop this valid and check whether the value is valid or not. Now we have to drop each and every actions within this if condition and in case if the value is not valid what we will do is we will fire one notification. You will see one else block will be created over here. Now we will tell here missing information, missing info that's enough. Now let me go to this page designer here I will switch over to the live mode and I will enter user 102 and salary as 234 click on save we will get a message missing info as soon as the user enters the missing information as well as the details over here click on save our data will be saved to the business object so like this we can make use of the validation group and the valid attribute in order to check whether user has entered all the details in the form or not